Hello everybody, my name's Pepper Rabbit, back again with another episode of Pepper Rabbit's Tips and Tricks. And today we are on the Doomsday server, this is a, a gameplay recorded last night. And I basically have basic loadout, but I have um, that wrench there. Southern Hospitality, that's it. And I don't have any special shotgun, and... Let's out there. It's kind of funny. I don't have any special wrenches other than that. It's, it's like a fire thing. It's not really that much special to it. And has no random crits either. Just has bleed damage. And there's no Wrangler. There's no different special shotgun. So I just have a basic sentry gun. And as you saw in the beginning there, I put sentry gun just to protect the snipers nest because I know snipers like to hang out there and then scouts like take them out or soldiers or whatever. I already got a kill there or whatever, and the reason I hang out in this uh, place with a Spencer is I know people are going to go through this uh, tunnel here, and as you see a spy came through, and he wasn't necessarily damaged, but as you see later in this video, I will have people coming into where I am with my dispenser in there. And they will be low health, and I'll be able to take them out. And that's a really good strategy if you want to start on Engineer on this map. You just, like, build your dispenser in there, if you have to. Especially if you're damaged, you just build your dispenser. And then you just take out the enemies very easily, because they're really low health, because no one ever goes in there if they're low health. Unless they're trying to get the that intel case back to the platform. And, as you saw, I put a sentry gun right there, very unconventional spot, especially for a level 1. A mini sentry you can spec there, but... It kind of does work, so... I'll just go with it, I get a couple kills, if you saw. I'll put there a couple more times. And... These rounds are pretty quick, and I... We... Before this gameplay was scored, I've, I lost, like, at least two or three more of these things, so I'm just, I'm on a losing streak with my team here, and we're gonna lose another time after this, actually. But, I see, I, I get better, I, I get a uh, top score on my team, which is kind of sad for an engineer to do that, that's not really doing anything. And again, I put my sentry gun down here for the snipers and whatever comes by behind us, because it's a good flanking spot, so. To cut off the flank, I just put a level 1 sentry gun. I need some doggone hell. And I take a look what's going on, I see a scout coming. Damage him up, he even gets past us, so... I'm actually kind of following him. There's actually people around here on blue, and I just don't worry about him. I just keep going to get the scout over here. Uh, they're gonna come up the middle with it. And a scout actually follows me. Low health. And I get to take him out. Very, very lucky. And I decided to build my Spencer on their uh, tunnel here. And once again, I'm I get the men pack and the ammo pack and this Pyro here. I thought I was going to be taken out, but he's for low health, like I said. And people just come in here because they need health, because this is the only med pack around. So I just yeah, me. upgrading my dispenser, and I a spy comes at me as a Pyro. I take it out easily. There's some lost uh, stuff there. And since we have the Australian, I'm just gonna uh, move my dispenser up a little bit and not really do anything with it. And then I get caught out here. I get I get hit by the crit somewhere right there, and then I decide to put my level one sentry gun. Really wish I didn't. And it's not really a good location for it. It's in a it's in a walkway. And I can't really do much here, so I, I moved it up a little bit, so I didn't get hit by anything. And a big problem with this map is map design. It's not that bad of a map. It has good choke points and good holds, and you can uh, flank the, the map. But the problem with this map is there's a lot of one way ins, one's way outs, especially right here. You, the only way out is right there, and I got caught out by a soldier right there. I couldn't really do much. 
and you got the tunnels down there. There's one way and one way out. And then there's the tunnels behind the points. That those are one way and one way out. And there's not that many med packs on the map. There's like a big med pack, big med uh, ammo pack. And I saw that sorry again. And there's a uh, big ammo pack up top in the middle. Big med pack down below. And then you got the mid med pack, mid ammo pack in both the tunnels. And there's just a, some little med packs also around, but there's like not really good locations for them, and it's really hard to stay alive unless you have a dispenser or a medic. So that's why I go engineer because there's usually no medics, and I don't feel like going medic on this map because this is just not really good. And as you see, I've built another sentry here. Start my game off. It's a really good strategy if you want to start on engineer. I'm figuring out what to do here, so I just decide instead of going back into the, the tunnel, I'm going to build a sentry up here, just for unconventional whatever. And there's that big med pack and ammo pack right there. In case my sentry goes down, I'm going to have like a backup right here for a dispenser. Check out the Australian room whatever area. There's nothing there, so... They have the Australian. I distract the soldier, make him turn around, and then I have to take him out with mice. Or get an assist there, and then another kill there. Or assist there. And I said, they know where my sentry gun is. And I have to fly check him first. Can't do it in time, but I get the kill because I got the ammo from him. And I got another sniper there with a one level 1 sentry gun. Luckily, it wasn't it taken out, so I just move it back to this location here. It's a really unconventional place because it's in the middle of the open, but it can see a lot of things, especially the point and what's behind it and around it. Let's see, so it gets two of the scout right there and get one kill there, and another kill right there. And just keep taking ammo and upgrading and upgrading. Spy check, just for the heck of it. Upgraded to level 3. I mean, snipers really can't hit unless they're on yours. That does a lot of damage to the team right there. This is why I don't use a Wrangler, because there's just so much going on in this map, so... Using a Wrangler, unless you find a really good location, like a sniper deck or something. The Wrangler really kind of doesn't work, so I just let it do its thing and fix it with for the ammo. And I like putting a dispenser in this hallway here, but since we have the point, I'm going to move this up a little bit more. But I get backstabbed. My, my uh, computer there was like a little glitching out. I don't know why, but it was glitching out a little bit. But I'm still getting assists or whatever, and my sentry gun's still up. My team's supporting it, but as you see, it's good taken out right there. And I decided to build my teleporter. And I noticed this dispenser here from my fellow engineer here, so I decided to fix it. And to get more things, I'm just gonna build a sentry there. I don't know why I do this, but it's just, I, I built it here. And I get some help from him. I upgrade his sensor, he upgrades my sentry gun. And obvious by it's obvious. I saw the bleed coming out of us. I get taken out and I get his ammo. And it's a really helpful engineer, it just helps me out. Really good, so I just decided to move my sentry gun back up. No one has the Australian at this point, so. I do a big mistake here, I go after the heavy, I don't know why, but... Lag hits me and my sentry gets taken out by a soldier. I was trying to save my sentry gun from this heavy right there, I guess, that's what I'm trying to do. But it doesn't really work out, because no one else was hitting the heavy with me. And I decided to go back to the Australian room. Let's see what's going on in this place. Medic. 
put my teleporter down just for the heck of it. I don't think we're just gonna lose this. So that's why I put it over there. Man, it gets caught out a little bit. But somehow we get the point. And my sentry guns are a good distraction, as you saw there. He went after the sentry gun instead of me, which he could have just gone after me. And since I'm a little kind of low health and that man is not healing me all games, I just put my sentry gun here. And I get a kill on this fire right there. And that, that sentry gun is meant to guard that uh, health pack, and anyone that goes for that med pack from above usually is low health. I get caught out there, I get killed by the medic really fast. <laughs> I'm a crit. And I get another kill right there. I mean, there's no communication going on in this map, so... Usually on the server, so I decided to just go engineer, because no one's really uh, communicating with each other. And I'm able to take care of some people just by sentry guns, by weird locations. And I also like doing this, as you see in the tunnels, all, all, near the Australia, I like to do in the tunnels over here. Because it's an easy way to get back up here. Heavy knows I'm back here, kinda. And I saw a soldier there, so I'm like, I'm gonna build a sentry gun in quiet solitude. I got my dispenser with a little bit of ammo. I'm able to take out this soldier when he's distracted by something. I think it's like a spy or something. And I decide I might fill my teleporter. Gives a safe thing. Put the enemies on the left again. But just in case. And I get some more ammo. Upgrade my dispenser a little bit. And this is the one way one one way in, one way out place, so. We get very close to losing that, so I decided to go out. And it was a good look, good time to go out because there's no one here, and I backed up that scout. I don't know how I got the crits, but I got crits. This is why I like the pistol instead of the Wrangler. He just you hit people far range in case your sentry gun's on out there. And I decided to pick up my sentry gun. I got another kill there, and I decided to put my sentry gun since they're on the lift. And I, I know this is a spy, so I had to put my sentry gun and take care of him. And that he's definitely down, because he's been doing that all game. He hasn't had a dead ringer. A really bad spy. And I I know it's not going to do anything. I thought this spy the scout was AFK, so I, I decided to put it back down, and he's not, so. Pick it up again, and put it in this corner. And I know a lot of people actually know this spot already. It's a good location for a sentry gun. Kind of watches the point and watches the stairs up here and the left stairs. My my sentry gun is still only level one. It's a good location if you want to move up. People don't notice it back here sometimes. And a scout's near that place where I used to be, so I know they're trying to look for me, kinda. And I. Obvious spy is obvious. And I move my sensor gun up since it's level 2. You see a pyromedic over there. And I get a little bad caught out here. I get damaged a lot. And I get the same messages in a little bit. And my sensor gun's hitting everybody on their team from the back. And I take a look at this in case someone's trying to come up this ramp, and always check your flanks as, as an engineer, even though your team might be there, they might be kind of stupid, so that's why I take a look sometimes. And I, I don't, I don't camp my sentry gun right behind it, hitting it every so often. And I notice it's being spammed a little bit, they know the sentry gun's up here, so I decide to move it back, instead of wrangling it. Because I might, I might die in that case. Teleporter! Wrangler's just not my thing. And even though my sentry gun was damaged here, they think I'm still up here, so... I take out the soldier very with ease. And I, I back up, but I get hit by something again. And then I'm, I'm really in trouble right here. I kill the spy, get the sapper, and kill one more person. 
which is the medic, and then the pyro dies from another engineer up there. And as you saw, that's my most domination I've ever had with the engineer in one round. <laughs> four, so. Dominating four people right now. And skipping ahead to the next round, I think. Or no, next death, I'm sorry. Checking out the Australian area. Put a sentry gun in an unconventional place. Level 1, I just put it there and forget like a little mini sentry. And move it just in case it needs some help. And put another teleporter there. Didn't really work the first time, but this time I guess some teleporters going on. Kinda. I don't know what to do here, so... This is kind of why I don't use the Frontier Justice, because I like to kill pe hit people with the shotgun, and only having three is not really that good. Although Frontier Justice can work if you play a little bit more passively. I play a little bit more aggressively when I play Engineer. And just so I can damage people somewhat, I'm, I'm gonna put my sentry gun there, and I get killed by another sentry gun on their team. And my sentry got taken out there. Doomsday can be a fun map, if you make it a fun map. Especially if you try to communicate with your team. But if there's no communication like going on here, it's just either best to go like demo night or engineer like I'm doing by myself. I, there's like barely anyone helping me out this whole map. Whole match. I'm in here for. I'm not good at. I still need to get a little bit better about aiming. And I'm trying to find a good location for my sentry gun. I'm like half health right here, so I, I put in a location where it's one way in, one way out type thing again. And I, I don't know, it, this is kind of a good location for a sentry nest and your dispenser. It kind of works, because there's a, there's a med packs here and there's a big, med, a big ammo pack behind you. So, I get a little bit of help from Dirty Harry. I get lucky with that scout kill. I thought he was going to take my sentry gun out. My sentry gun is protected from two sides, and two sides are... Someone's behind me, so I decided to go after him and take him out pretty easily. You should ought to stay back at your little campsite. And I see a sentry gun there, so I'm trying to spam it out and try to get it with my pistol. And although I put it my, uh, I, I could have had my Wrangler there and take it out faster, but pistol comes in so much more handier than the Wrangler in in for me at least. I don't know about for you guys, but for me it just does not work. So I just go conventional engineer, although I have this frontier justice for bleed damage, because there's like barely any med packs and no one goes medic. And pyros really don't scare me that much, to be honest. And I don't need random crits, I can take care of myself without the random crits. And right there, I thought the soldier was behind me, but he was actually in front of me. I decided to put another sentry gun. Make sure that scout's distracted, and nice so my partner. scout friend can take him out. And I know there's someone near my dispenser, so and my and my teleporter. So I'm basically back to square one. Although I'm still out here. Although it was the, the recorder instead of the regular sapper, so I was able to take care of it pretty easily. And I didn't notice we were going to be on the lift in a second, so I, I thought I had to back up a little bit with my sentry gun placement. Especially if they knew I was there. And it was a bad location, so it takes it out easily. I'm going back to this tunnel again. Put my dispenser there, so in case scouts are trying to make a getaway, they can't get away that fast, because dispenser's going to be there trying to block their way. Kinda. Not really that much, but... And... I thought we were, like, screwed here, but 
finally we won, and that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. MVP. Uh, stay tuned for our next episode drill. of Tips and Tricks with Pepper Rabbit. I'm not really sure what the next one's gonna be, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Bye!